Connect o mundo. Jesse de Wit, Lightning Enthusiast Developer, The Netherlands. In mathematics, graph theory is the study of graphs, which are mathematical structures used to model pairwise relations between objects. A graph in this context is made up by vertices, also called nodes or points, that are connected by edges, also called links or lines. A distinction is made between undirected graphs, where edges link two vertices symmetrically and directed graphs, where edges uh, link two vertices as asymmetrically. Are you now also studying graphs from your own node? Yes. I'd rather hike on the beach than in the woods. No. Terence Hanbury White published in 1958 a book called The Once and Future King. It was based upon a 15th century book, The Death of Arthur, by Sir Thomas Mallory. Are these books the inspiration of, for the name of your node? Yes. When I decided to start running a lightning node, I started first on testnet. No. Do you consider Ubuntu the best Linux distribution you worked with? No. Utrixo is a new scalability technology for Bitcoin, which, which can make Bitcoin nodes smaller and faster while keeping the same security and privacy as full nodes. Would you like to test it? Yes. Have I Told You Lately is a song written in 1989 and recorded by Northern Irish singer and songwriter Van Morrison. Are you aware that that song was originally uh, written as a prayer? No. Your favorite food is slavink, a Dutch meat dish consisting usually of ground meat called half and half. Half beef, half bo uh, pork, wrapped in bacon. Did you know that originally the filling of a slavink was made from smoked sausage? No. Ted Dria co-authored the Lightning Network white paper with Joseph Poon and worked on the initial implementation. Have you read all his work? No. Are you Satoshi Nakamoto? No. Welcome to the Connected World Weekly Podcast. I'm Edward. And I'm Steph. We are ready to take you with us into the beautiful world of the Lightning Network. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the ride. ride. This is episode 20 of Connected World. Steph! <laughs> You're looking uh, great, man. Episode 20, uh, welcome to Miami, everyone. Exactly, welcome to the beach, man. <laughs> oh, man, it's so sunny outside, man. It's so freaking hot. Oh, amazing. But, but, the, but the conference was perfect, and we are just, uh, yeah, getting a little <laughs> vacation afterwards. So, uh, yeah, that's why we, <laughs> exactly. we wear sungla sunglasses. And you, you're wearing a towel, I see. Are you going to the yeah. beach, Edward? Yeah, it's still dry, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to dive in. <laughs> Right, dive in and then, uh, yeah, uh, cool down and uh, relax a bit. So, yeah. Yeah. And don't, and don't uh, forget to uh, get some uh, sun protector for yourself, mate, because you're, you're still a bit white. Uh. Yeah, you're right. My legs also. So, uh, no, I, I, I will use it. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Nice. Oh, hey, and, and we, we have, have to celebrate. Have to celebrate. Yes. Exactly. I was yeah. just saying, yeah, man. I have nice. my, uh, my balloons here. So, cool. um, well, uh, two things actually. Uh, this is the 20th ep episode, so that's, yeah. that's what we just said. So that's uh, also amazing. But also, um, I will uh, put uh, something in it now. Yeah, 300 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> thank you guys, thank you, right. thank you, thank you. <laughs> No, it, we're, this we're is happy. really amazing, uh, Steph. Uh, we're doing this for all these l listeners and uh, watchers of YouTube and Bitcoin TV. At 300 subscribers, it just uh, gets us going. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, we want uh, the next step is, is like, what, what is it? 350, 400? What are we going to celebrate that? I one? think 500. Yeah, well, we, uh, we like to celebrate, right? We're people, yeah. uh, we, we so, like to so celebrate so everything. The, the 400. Uh, 400, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. All, so, all so right, if, let's do that. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please uh, click on subscribe. And, all, and of course, always like the video. Uh, and then we will, yeah. yeah, we will soon be at the 400 uh, member, I guess, Edward. 
Yeah, and I think with 500 we need to do something special, right? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna stay special it. enough to you. I mean, no, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, Miami, the sun. Uh, <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> And, and the 20th episode, yeah, man. I think we uh, we need to celebrate next week also because then it's the 21st, yeah. and, and of course, yeah, the 21st it's, is a special number, right? It's also <laughs> special, yeah. Exactly. And this week um, we have also a special guest, of course, and it's Jess De Witt, uh, also known as Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice name. Uh, and he's a proficient uh, lightning network enthusiast. Um, yeah, and, and he's a fellow gonna, Dutchie. Yeah, and a fellow Dutchie, right? And he's going to tell us everything uh, what he's uh, doing with his node. Uh, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm interested in uh, in uh, what he has to say. Yes, yes. But first, Edward, let's talk a little bit about the statistics of the Lightning Network, of yes. course, as we do always. And of course, uh, our Rings of Fire community. And then the second part will be with uh, Yes. All right, have let's fun. Do it. Have fun. Conecta el mundo. So last week, we added a little over 28.73 uh, Bitcoin into the Lightning Network. And this week, it is 28.95, so almost 29 oh, in yeah. total. So we added 22 million Satoshis um, with around 990 members. So yeah, I think maybe at what next week we can celebrate <laughs> the uh, the thousands member gonna, yeah. uh, uh, of that group uh, yeah, participating it's an amazing in, number. Uh, in over 124 rings. So that's yes. also an ama amazing figure. And we're now at block height uh, 731,406. And uh, if we look at the Lightning Network as a whole, uh, we have 20,197 uh, nodes with uh, 3,724 uh, Bitcoin in it. Um, two nodes less, that's not important because we have uh, 78, uh, more than 78 uh, Bitcoin more than last week. Nice. And the value of today, Steph? Yeah, it's 1 million Satoshis is getting you 408 dollars, 375 euros, and 2,598 uh, Chinese won. Connect the world. <laughs> it talks uh, much easier with sunglasses on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Everything is dark. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. It's difficult. Um, there is uh, a lot of news. Um, I'm going to um, walk through it. Uh, first, we have Taro. Lightning Labs announced Taro. Uh, you saw it also, Steph, um, some tweet uh, uh, past week, I think. Yep. Um, uh, it's an open protocol uh, made possible by Taproot to expand the global reach of Bitcoin and Lightning by making it uh, a multi-asset network. Uh, so with uh, Taro, it will be possible uh, to issue assets on the Bitcoin blockchain and then use Lightning for speed and scalability. And it makes use of the Bitcoin liquidity to ensure interoperability between assets. They also announced $70 million of in funding received by their investors. Uh, so it's interesting uh, what they're going to do with it, um, with Taro also. And let's see where it goes uh, and also follow all other experiments on this matter because there are a lot. And, uh, well, I have read a lot of things, so um, let's uh, follow it. And uh, we've put uh, uh, something to read in the show notes. And then I saw, uh, I don't know if you've seen it, but I saw a trailer. Uh, the film Born to Unbind, um, it's not out there yet, I think, but uh, I was interested because it's, um, it's an experimental documentary that explores the relationship between the US dollar and El Salvador. And the film is a timestamp and portrays the situation on the ground uh, and the new generation of Salvadorians uh, and how they uh, pre uh, perceive the recent economic changes on a daily basis. So I hope it's, it's uh, something about the real story. Is, is it also yeah. about uh, the Chifo wallet at, and, and Bitcoin as legal tender I there? I think or? it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely uh, about legal tender. Um, but it's uh, it emphasizes the, um, the economic changes. So it's interesting experiment. Like uh, we, we, we can see now uh, uh, within uh, more, uh, if more time passes, uh, what, it's, uh, yeah, w what it does with, uh, with the country and uh, with the people and merchants and the economic changes well let's uh, let's see so i've put a um, link in the show notes to uh, to watch the trailer and uh, robin hood they enabled uh, on chain lightning with uh, and lightning withdrawals for bitcoin uh, for more than 2 million people uh, on the wait list so a lot of people can uh, can use it 
And then uh, Jack Mahlers, uh, he integrated uh, with world's largest point of sale providers to enable sovereign payments with Bitcoin. And Jack announced a major uh, point of sale integration, allowing shoppers to use Bitcoin privately. Uh, and more importantly, that's what I like, uh, for merchants uh, to save on the fees. Mm -hmm. uh, so less fees, no fees. Uh, so that's nice. And Jack also showed that the strike integration is um, possible yet in, uh, in, in McDonald's, Walmart, uh, Walgreens, a lot uh, of more places in the in the US. So only the US, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. we like to see it in EU, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. And then Samsung Mao, uh, he announced uh, progress on favorable Bitcoin legislation in three uh, places around the world. Uh, Mexico, uh, Prospera in Honduras and Madeira in Portugal. Um, Samsung Mao is a Bitcoin infrastructure developer and, uh, well, he uh, started a new company also, uh, Yan3. I don't know if you, uh, I pronounce it good, right? Jan, and, maybe? Yeah, Jan, Jan, or J-A-N. Jan, yeah. Um, yeah. And it's to focus on speeding the adoption of Bitcoin in the world. So that's uh, a very important thing, of course. Uh, so um, wish him good luck. Just ar is, is around the corner, of course, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. Edward. <so. laughs> exactly. No, that's right. It's not uh, not that far. No. Portugal is uh, is a great country uh, this uh, this last year, I think. Yeah. And then uh, Bitcoin payment processor BitPay, uh, Steph. What yes. what happened? Yeah, they added Lightning uh, into their <laughs> nice. uh, yeah, well their, their 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 system and uh, yeah. yeah. Well, which which makes it uh, for us uh, makes it possible to uh, to shop online uh, at uh, at uh, websites that uh, that use their service and. Uh, I um, I just put it to the test uh, last week and I ordered uh, some ice cream. Nice. Uh, because I just wanted to see how it works. Uh, yeah. We have uh, the Dutch uh, um, delivery giant Thuisbezorgd, also oh, yeah. known yeah. as um, uh, Takeaway. Um, yeah, Takeaway Just Eat. Yeah. Takeaway Just Eat, indeed. And um, yeah, so, I was, so I, I was able to, uh, to pay for my ice cream um, using my own uh, Lightning uh, wallet. So that was pretty nice and it was pretty fast because. Nice. You could you could all, um, you could uh, pay with Bitcoin, but um, on on, ma on main chain, uh, but then you have to wait for 15 minutes to uh, to get the first um, confirmation, and then your order yeah, yeah, um, slow. will be processed. So it was too slow f for us to use it uh, in a good way. So I think uh, the the adding uh, adding Lightning Network uh, is now is now very nice to uh, to customers in Holland to to use. Uh, the only downside, and I think this yeah. is a big downside, is that they have a pretty steep uh, kyc so that's um, yeah, yeah you, you need to create an account you need to upload a um, a copy of your uh, identity card or or your passport and then you have to uh, make a selfie so i think that that's a bit too yeah. much for only uh, ordering some goods and stuff but yeah it's only one time with, or uh... i i think it's only one time okay. i i didn't test it uh, um, more than once so um, but I, I, yeah, I, we know by now that it that is it that it isn't necessarily about exactly. BitPay, but it is about the regulation in in yeah. Europe or in yeah. Holland. So yeah, it's something they have to deal with also. Um, but okay, okay we, we can yeah. use Lightning now. So that exactly, that's, it's nice that nonetheless they uh, they implemented it and uh, exactly. we, we, we can use it. Look at the bright side. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Always look at the sunny side. It's the sunny Speaking side. Of which, Edward, <laughs> uh, maybe you can tell the listeners and viewers about the top five talks of Bitcoin 2022, and I will, I will do. put some extra uh, cream on my face because uh, oh man, it's so sunny outside. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, we had some. Uh, <laughs> uh, we we had some um, uh, friends of ours, uh, of our community, uh, um, who were there. And uh, we've put uh, um, a five, a top five list of uh, the talks that were uh, great to, to watch. And uh, we've put them in the show notes. Well, I'll, uh, shall I start with number one, Steph? Or, uh, sure. On, yeah? Or, sure. Or, all right. Our number one was becoming a sovereign individual. And this talk was between Guy Swan, uh, the host from Bitcoin Audible, uh, Pesco Gautier, from Ledger, uh, Parker Lewis, uh, Robert Breedlove, and Matt uh, Barkley. Uh, he's an NFL quarterback. Yeah. Um, I think it's uh, th that was really uh, in a uh, great talk. So so watch it. And, and the number two was making Bitcoin legal tender. So that was more uh, talk about uh, El Salvador. Uh, and there were, um, uh, let's have a look, Stacey Herbert from El Zonte. Uh, Samson Mao, of course, Joel Bomgar, um, President Honduras Prospera, and Maria uh, Luisa Hayam, the Minister of Economy of El Salvador, and uh, Philip 
Karadordevic, yeah, the <laughs> prince of Serbia. Um, this is really an interesting story because we want to know what happens if, um, yeah, well, if Bitcoin is a legal tender, and 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 mm. yeah, so that's um, that's really interesting for other countries also to follow. Uh, Bitcoin is freedom is number three. It was with uh, Alex Gladstein, Gion, Gionmi Park, Farida Naburema, and Fadi El Salameng. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, these and, names, uh, man. <laughs> the last three uh, women uh, all have a, a special story. So uh, it's uh, really great to watch. And then Ooh. number four, the annual state of Bitcoin with Aaron von uh, Weirdom. Steve Lee and Adam Beck, the CEO from Blockstream. And the last one, I think maybe we have to elevate that last one because I, I really liked it, but uh, that's just me. Uh, the youngest Bitcoin coders. And uh, it tells a story about the future, right? Uh, because uh, yeah. Elizabeth Stark was there uh, from Lightning Labs and uh, Autumn Domingo and Isana Misra. Um, and uh, yeah, they're so young and busy with uh, with coding and with uh, the Bitcoin core development. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. So yeah, great. Watch it and uh, be amazed if you weren't there. Uh, and only fourteen years old they were, right? <laughs> yeah, fourteen. Yeah, crazy man. <laughs> one w one of them was fourteen. Yeah, uh, one of them. Oh, I, th I thought they were both. So, really, uh, really amazing. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Verbind the world. So let's have a look at the rings forecast because yeah. we have the 3 million Satoshi's 40 ring. We only have one spot left. And I saw just before the recording, Edward, that we have the 5 million Satoshi's 60 ring full. So we will start yep. that one ASAP. Um, yeah, we had a pretty, pretty busy day today at the office. Exactly. Uh, I think uh, after <laughs> this recording, we have to uh, balance one ring. And uh, I think I started um, uh, three new rings this morning. So we have to be a bit cautious that we don't uh, overwork ourselves. So uh, Yeah, otherwise you have too much uh, to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need to relax, so, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But okay, so we have a pretty, pretty busy day. But last week it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty uh, nice and, and calm because we only uh, balanced one ring. But it was a huge one because it was the 10 million Satoshi sixth ring. Yeah. So it was a ring with a high liquidity. And uh, yeah, we right. added 0 0.6, so over a half Bitcoin into the Lightning Network with only this ring of fire. We had DJ Maestro ready to balance this one, but experienced some gossip issues from, with the channel of Jack, unfortunately. But we know by now that this is part of the game. Luckily, Jack wanted to try to balance this ring himself and succeeded. So thanks for the work uh, uh, and your effort, guys. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work. So... Uh, that's how that it was, is. That is how it is. <laughs> yeah. hey, and Edward, we can yeah. give a prize away right. again. Yes. Right. Before we go any further, we want to mention the winner of the prize of last week. Uh, our guest from last week, Thomas Jesper, yeah. gave away a three months subscription to Ambus.space. So I think every one of our listeners and viewers will be interested, in, was interested in this one. Yeah. And um, the winner is Abba Kadabra or Ivet. Uh, so nice. uh, yeah, and she is uh, from <laughs> snoopjes.de uh, uh, and you can get in contact to Yoni Kiyashu on Telegram or Twitter. Ivet, well, you know how to reach uh, how to reach us. So yeah, congrats. Uh, please, yeah, please keep in con uh, get in contact to us and we will uh, tell you how you uh, can redeem your prize. All right, thanks, Steph, and let's get ourselves some ice cream. Yes, and more ice cream for you. <laughs> let's do it, <laughs> and let's head over to the lightning notes. Let's do that, man. Conecta el mundo. Make sure to secure your home network. So change default passwords and use two-factor authentication where possible, and keep your software up to date. It's also very important. Uh, please keep in mind that the whole Lightning uh, network is very experimental. Uh, software like uh, MyNode, Umbrel, Resi, Blitz, for example, and many others, and LND also, uh, are still in beta phase. Uh, don't blindly run terminal commands on your node if you don't understand uh, them yourself, and especially when prefixed with sudo. Uh, and the last one is also very important. Don't use uh, Satoshis that you're not willing to lose. So if you're not aware uh, of all security considerations, then read into it. Educate yourself, read articles, uh, ask for help in Telegram groups so, uh, with high reputation like ours, and uh, listen to podcasts and learn by doing. 
Otherwise, don't participate. Also, uh, you can stay uh, informed by uh, following us on Twitter. You can find us at uh, Satoshi Radio ROF and follow our lightning leader, uh, Johnny Kiyashu. Join our Telegram group, Satoshi Radio, Ring of Fire and Connect the World and check our website, satoshi.radio. It would be nice for you uh, to be part of our uh, Emboss community. You can find us there on uh, Satoshi Radio and like and subscribe uh, to our uh, YouTube channel. Use podcasting 2.0 to listen to Connect the World and you can uh, check uh, SAT the trading for the current value. Uh, you can find all this information, of course, also in the show notes as well. All right, let's get on to the show. Connect the Jesse, good to have you on our show. <laughs> We're very <laughs> excited to have you. How yeah, are you, man? Thank you for having me. Yeah. Great. <laughs> good good to see you again, man. Um, we, we met uh, last year at the uh, Bitcoin show meetup at Blast Galaxy in Amsterdam. Yeah. And I, I think they are organizing another edition uh, next month. Are you also attending that one? or? Yeah, in April. Uh, definitely yeah. going there. It's a nice excuse to actually use Lightning. For one. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. And you can buy there a nice, delicious pork. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A yeah. couple of beers the, with lightning. Uh, yeah, a couple of beers, exactly. It the feed and loaded fries, they are oh, amazing, yeah. man. Fries with, uh, I think it was tofu and all kinds of spices and herbs. It is amazing. Yeah. Mouth watering. <laughs> I just order, order the famous fries and then they, they give you the thing. Yeah, they give you the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the thing you like most. <laughs> <laughs> nice man. It's actually one of one of the yeah one of the only th um, uh, places I, I spend my satoshis. Uh, unfortunately, of course, because yeah, yeah. What we, there are not so many places over here, of course. But um, I think uh, Blast Galaxy is uh, really one of my favorite ones. Yeah, it's only f with uh, uh, those meetups, right? Because we we also had a book presentation, and everything could be bought with uh, with l Lightning. And you yeah, you feel. It's uh, it's great to see that it works and everybody's using it and uh, yeah well <laughs> that's yeah, it's nice to uh, do it again in April right yeah yeah we'll yeah. definitely do it again yeah nice and you use you use your own node of obviously to to pay I do yeah uh, I use my own node I, I've got the blue wallet on my uh, node okay. with the LD yeah. hub and uh, yeah cool. That's the way. Hey, Edward, maybe you can uh, because we are we now in the second part, of course, of of the uh, of the uh, episode. But can you maybe ask that the, the first question of the ten questions again to yes or? <laughs> well, man, oh man, it was that such was a, a long, long question, <laughs> and it was a difficult one, man. Yes, yeah, because uh, vertical, symmetrically, and vertices, and I, I, I was, uh, yeah, there was something uh, going well, on you, in my you, mind, but uh, yeah, you did really well, man. <laughs> and my also the explanation. So thanks, thanks, yeah. <laughs> but you're studying graphs uh, from your own notes, so that's um, that's that was the yeah. question, right? So. Yeah, yeah, got me into graph theory, the the note, yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah, doing some courses on YouTube, learning graph theory. So Crazy. nodes and edges and vertices was also new to me. But um, yeah, yeah, and you, you told us that uh, programming changed your life. But when did this happen? Because I saw you studied biology, if I, I did, remember yeah. well. Yeah, I studied biology and. Um, I just started studying that as a because I'm broadly interested, I suppose. <laughs> uh, and uh, I thought biology just has it all, all about life. Um, you can learn in, in biology. But um, in my third year, we started doing modeling, modeling of ecosystems. And um, modeling ecosystems is a sort of programming. And that got me enthusiastic about programming. And before you know it, I'm. Uh, developing through deep in the night and yeah, yeah just couldn't stop so <laughs> and did, did you finish the study of biology or i did yeah a bachelor's yeah okay cool okay yeah, yeah. well and, uh, steph we we heard this before right like uh studying biology and then into the ecosystems of uh organism and and uh, yeah Economy Actually, the whole the whole lightning the network, lightning network, right? Is is yeah something like, but but you know better than me. I think uh, yes, so to to tell maybe but. a bit like an organism. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of unknowns also, which also in biology, if you model biological systems, there's also a lot of unknowns. Yeah, oh, there's some. Uh, yeah, and and it's very dynamic, especially because you don't know where the liquidity is. 
in the in the network yeah. it does feel exactly. alive a little bit yeah yeah, yeah but it yeah. is it yeah. is alive it well, is alive. yeah it grows and it doesn't have any edges because it can grow even more and uh yeah yeah that's interesting and you you um in 2018 you traveled in europe uh in a camper well uh i i saw that uh yeah. with your family for seven months um do you want to do it again and then use only lightning or or bitcoin on on the road <laughs> with your family it's a whole uh, lot of life of yeah course, just, to just go to bitcoin places would be fun yeah maybe but i wouldn't actually go on a camper trip with my family uh again for seven no. months it was it was a great experience but i wouldn't do it again necessarily uh, <laughs> because a camper is very small and uh, yeah that's right yeah with uh, children you don't it feels like you have a lot of freedom, but if you have small yeah. children, you're also stuck yeah. to the to the camper. You can't really go anywhere. So yeah, because um, they were a little, uh, a lot smaller than, of course, uh, younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, if they're bigger, <laughs> it's going to be uh, different again. But it's a paradox because um, if you're moving yourself, yeah. the child is not moving, and if the child is moving, that means you're not moving. So it's a, it's a bit of a paradox. Traveling yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. yeah, crazy man. Yeah, yeah I well, I, I used to travel with the camper of my uh, my mother in law, and we uh, only managed to keep it on uh, long weekends. So uh, <laughs> and then on, on Sunday evening, I was completely exhausted, and I needed to return back home. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's also something I really like just my my own house and not not moving too too much and uh yeah yeah if you get <laughs> homesick well, well if yeah. you if you travel to uh, the US or something and then you can rent an RV that is really big <laughs> and then yeah, it that's... gets bigger right uh, that you uh, plant it on a place and then uh, you can yeah. extract it <laughs> Yeah, but I, I wouldn't yeah. say my my uh, my camper is small. By the way, it's uh, okay. it's seven meters long and it's uh, so yeah, it's, it's pretty big. But uh, so you you still have him? I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> great. Cool, <man>. Great. <laughs> Hey guys, we almost some, forgot yeah. that we, oh, that sorry, we are yeah. in the middle of a, a, a lightning <laughs> uh, podcast, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> and, I wanted um, to ask another thing, but you're absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, we are a bit distracted by the by the, uh, by the RV stories, but um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have uh, all kinds of questions for you about your vision on the Lightning Network, and of course, uh, uh, yeah, on the on nodes uh, in general, and maybe some tips for uh, people that are just getting started with their node. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we have these questions all within our uh, part that we that we call the twenty one minutes. So if you are ready, uh, yes, and you also, Edward, then uh, we will we would like to enter that part, guys. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. All cool, right. Let's go. Conecta el mundo. So we're going to start easy. Um, lightning. Well, what makes you most enthusiastic about the Lightning Network? Um, I'm a backend, backend developer. And uh, when I got in touch with, um, with Lightning, the first thing that came to mind was the 402 status code in uh, HTTP and the 402 status code means payments required. It's a status code that's almost never used uh, right now in HTTP. Um, and that's because uh, native payments over the internet aren't really possible right now. But with Lightning, this enables uh, us to monetize APIs without needing a middleman. And uh, it just makes me yeah, I get shivers down, down my spine every time I think about this, how lightning Magic. is going to change the world of the internet <laughs> exactly. uh, and exchange of value. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's interesting that, that with a 402 that they, they uh, thought about it a long time ago and then it's, it's yeah, it's it's really m magic like, like you say it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, so, and, and it makes, it just makes Bitcoin so much better um yeah where bitcoin you had to wait a long time for confirmations of course it is super scary to uh fill in an address somewhere and hoping yeah. praying your bitcoin is gonna arrive right and with lightning it's just you scan a qr code and you pay and you know it's paid because you you see instant feedback on your screen instant settlement yeah, um, yeah. when, when settlement. was the first time that you that you um get to know the to the lightning network um, 
The first time uh, was in, I looked it up, it was uh, December 2017, and there was a Reddit post, um, and it was uh, about hdlc.me and yalls.org. We had Alex yeah. Bosworth on the show as well, uh, right? Exactly. Um, he wrote this. So I went on there, and I didn't understand what it was really. So, yeah, I, uh, I guess <laughs> I read something on yalls.org, but I didn't know how. Um, and then in uh, 2019, in December of 2019, I came into contact with it again because uh, Joost Jager, he was mm-hmm. uh, on the CryptoCast, which is a Dutch podcast about Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency. Yeah. Um, and he was explaining about Lightning Network. And that got me thinking. So I started a note somewhere in uh, 2020. Um, just to figure it out. Cool. Nice, nice. Hey, and what do you see as the most important feature uh, coming to the Lightning Network in the short term? Um, well, PTLCs, uh, I think, is going to be uh, a really nice feature to get rid of the HTLC model because, um, well, it will be, uh, there will be more privacy um, and it will be easier. I was thinking about some th- some things, like for example, um, I was thinking about rebalancing other people's channels. So if I, as a node, could send a, pay- a payment through your node, so your channels are uh, rebalanced. Um, so I was thinking how to do that, but I would need PTLCs for that uh, to actually work in a trustless way. Yeah. Um, so PTLCs, uh, L2, of course. Mm-hmm. So we don't have to keep all that state. Uh, I don't know about you, but my general database, uh, general DB from yeah. MND is... Uh, yeah, yeah, we heard a lot of pain. issues. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we yeah. have a lot of uh, guys within our community who uh, experience a lot of issues with the, uh, with the size of the uh, database indeed, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw they're making a pull request uh, now actually to uh, to fix that, to make yeah, it a lot smaller per payment. But uh. and it's also due to the phase uh, where the Lightning Network is in now. So um, yeah, it's it's very new, and these issues. Well, it's it's good that we all uh, try it out and discover it, and then uh, yeah. yeah. And my follow-up question, maybe you can be the solution, of course. If you had all the time and people in the world, what would the first thing uh, you would do to fix something for the Lightning Network community? Yeah. Um, Yeah, I would probably, it would be to help routing nodes. Um, And and yeah, a good suite of tools for, for routing nodes to be able to know where to allocate liquidity um, and to be able to allocate liquidity efficiently. And also, because I, th- I have the feeling, but I'm not entirely sure, but everybody's just placing liquidity everywhere right now. <laughs> and um, if there would be a breeze or some wind um, blowing the liquidity into one direction, it's going to run out of liquidity very, very fast. So I don't think this is a very robust way um, of maintaining a network. I think people have to think about where to place liquidity mm-hmm. and how to place it there in a way that's uh, sustainable. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I, I can agree that with you that, um, that most of the people are just placing liquidity whatever they want. I'm, I'm also one of those... Those people, I just uh, yeah participated in a couple of rings of fire and just opened channels to yeah. to some some other participant. And uh, with my own go- my only goal was to get inbound and outbound liquidity, but not a real strategy behind. And I think yeah. that's what you want to accomplish then. Yeah, yeah, you want to have the liquidity in the ways where in a place where. Yeah, where it's needed, basically. And Jesse, I was uh, thinking a follow-up question. Do you think there is a tool right now uh, like Node Insights or LNRouter.app uh, or uh, some other uh, helpful tool that, that actually is, is doing something about that? Yeah, so I do think Ellen Router is, um, is going in that direction, right? He's also 
uh, I think Sevi is uh, building features very fast and he's uh, doing a really good job at making some things, uh, uh, insights about some things. I do. I think LND G is doing uh, for LND the mm -hmm. best job right now. Yeah. Uh, I think for C Lightning is CL Boss. Yeah. Um, these tools are doing a great job, I think. Uh, but there should be more. Yeah. But there's also it's such a such a rich world ro um, world of there's so many possibilities. Yeah. Um, exactly. But you need yeah. a very big suite of tools. Yeah. And, and when you look at the probabilistic model of the payment process in the Lightning Network, it, it estimates the success of a payment. Do you think that re reliability is more important than low fees? Um, uh, Rene Picard, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, I think reliability and fees are going to do a very beautiful dance uh, yeah. together. And... I don't think you could say either one is most important, but it depends on what, how much you want to pay for reliability, right? Or yeah. how cheap you are, how long you're willing to wait for cheap, cheap fees. Um, so I think they're going to do a beautiful dance and people are going to fill that range um, with, uh, yeah, high fee, very reliable nodes and mm -hmm. low fee, very unreliable nodes. And mm -hmm. um, I think they can all be there together and they're going to be, um, yeah, they're going to fill the entire range. Yeah. And, and do you think a fee market could flourish when routing those charge more for reliability? Um, yeah, I, do, I think, I think, yeah, I was talking about the wind, right? So if you have one wind mm -hmm. um, blowing some liquidity uh, over the network, I think, um, all the low fee channels are going to be, they're going to run out first. So the rely, more reliable nodes uh, who, get, who charge higher fees, they're going to, yeah, they're going to still have liquidity left to sell. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so yeah, I think you have to have higher fees if you want to be more reliable, because otherwise you're just going to run out of liquidity very quickly. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it. It was an interesting discussion that that, that we saw between uh, Rene Picard and uh, and and you also. Um, and I think well, the reliability it's it's something that we uh, we think less of. So I think with the zero fees and low fees, that uh, yeah, that's a nice way to think about it. Uh, that uh, that that's also important uh, for the for the future. Is the Lightning Network, do you think, uh, with this being said, uh, mature enough for mass adoption? And if not, uh, what would be uh, improved first? Yeah, so I think probably not for the like, mass adoption. Uh, right now. Probably not right now. Uh, no. I think it's going to grow organically and um, it's going to grow in a way where at some point when mass adoption comes, I, I do think... Uh, Lightning Network will meet the demand, the network right, as a whole will meet the demands of the whole world. And the, the network, uh, is it more important than the liquidity in it? So, so do you think the liquidity uh, uh, that is in it right now is more, more than enough, perhaps? <laughs> um, no, I don't think the liquidity that's in it right now would be enough. No, you would have to place it very, efficient, very efficiently in order to be able to um, route payments for the entire world. Okay. So there probably have to be, <laughs> yeah, there, are, there will have to be many more nodes and yeah. um, many more channels, a lot more liquidity, and they also have to be in the right place. <laughs> we're we, thinking we of how much <laughs> liquidity we are working on it uh, at what with yeah, the exactly. electrifier community yeah. Yeah, you're doing a good job <laughs> work to do <laughs> thanks hey, to, to increase the adoption of, uh, of Lightning we uh, of course also need a lot more merchants to, to accept Lightning uh, what do you think is needed to onboard more uh, merchants in, in the future I think I think that's also just it's just going to happen I, um, you know the Lightning protocol, it's still actively being developed. It's in beta phase. It's, 
um, yeah, I think as a merchant, you, you have to be a very early adopter uh, in order to um, accept payments over Lightning now, unless you're doing it uh, in a custodial way, mm. which is uh, easier to onboard, I suppose. Um, but it's going to grow. There's going to be, yeah, there's going to be a lot of tools for merchants. So um, that's something you need. You need to be, you have a, a lot of software suites, I suppose, to just choose what you want, pick what you want as a merchant. Yeah. Um, and Makes it should be easier. Yeah. It should be easy to manage, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, you're a member of uh, our Connected World and Rings of Fire community, which, uh, which is specifically focused on Lightning. Uh, do you think these social communities influence the rate in which the Lightning Network grows today? And is it possible to measure the degree of adoption uh, through the growth of Lightning communities over the world? Uh, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> I, suppose, I, I suppose if you have more members in these communities, you can definitely see that um, Lightning is growing. Mm -hmm. I would also suppose that at some point, like if you would reach mass adoption, that you maybe don't even have these communities anymore. Perhaps, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. you just go to Stack Exchange and yeah. type in the question and... Uh, yeah, so, so the underground Lightning Network with public nodes will continue to stay and be alive, but, but perhaps the communities will, uh, will work a little differently, you said. Yeah, maybe not, not so... Uh, okay. Yeah, because it's, I think it's uh, very important right now to have these communities for, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you've got Platinet, Rings of Fire, yeah. and your community to um, have a place for your questions, because there's going to be a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. And it's a yeah. massive testing environment also. It's uh, everybody's experimenting, right? Everybody yeah. is experimenting. And if you want, if you think you're just going to install an umbrella and yeah. uh, open a bunch of channels and everything is going to be fine, then at some point your channel is going to force close and you're going to be <laughs> exactly. looking at the transaction with HGLCs and time locks and you're going to think, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... If everything is fine, then it's easy. <laughs> but as soon as something goes wrong, you just have yeah. to gonna have to jump. But, but I, see, I see it this way: we, we are now building the backbone with with the real uh, enthusiasts, right? And and I think when yeah, all, all the, the others on the world will um, will use Lightning, they they will use our backbone, and maybe they they don't even want to open channels themselves or run a node themselves, right? They they use our as a, ours as a hub or something. Yeah, that's always yeah, that's going to be always possible. Of course, there's also tools being developed to make that easier. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and yeah, talking about uh, the the, um, the things that that yeah, uh, everyone has to keep in mind when starting a routing node or or just a normal uh, node. What um, advice can you give people who are just getting started? Yeah, yeah. So do jump into one of these uh, rings of fire groups. I think it's a great way to get started. Um, I also started my node or my serious node uh, by um, going through Rings of Fire. So you get inbound liquidity very quickly. Um, and it makes you able to route payments straight away. Um, don't be afraid to spend some sats in the beginning. Uh, you're going to open a lot of channels, maybe. Um, you're going to loop out. You're gonna you're gonna pay some sats in order, so you're gonna lose some money at first, <laughs> and then as a routing node, you don't think you're gonna make a big buck. <laughs> no, no, that's <laughs> because no, you're that's, not. <laughs> you're, no, exactly. I think if you're making one percent a year, you're probably doing very a very good job. Yeah. Uh, All right. Or 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 break even even. Uh, or breaking even even. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hey, but if, if you like would uh, start from scratch building um, uh, your lightning node, what what will be the things you will have be uh, doing differently than you did now? Yeah, so I'm on my fourth node now. Um, looking back, I think I should have just stuck with the first node because uh, you take your reputation along with you. So being an old node is also uh, making you more reputable, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, in some algorithms. Um, 
yeah, what would I have done differently? The great thing about it, I think, you can just you can basically just start over. So you don't have to uh, think about it very much in the beginning. You just have to try. Uh, yeah, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. So um, yeah, I had uh, yeah I had to throw away a couple of notes of mine. Um, so did, did you lose? Did you lose some 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 sets with it? Or I didn't actually lose any sets. Like oh. uh, not not for real. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, nice. <laughs> but um, yeah, so um, one uh, one note. I, I, for example, in my config, I had assumed John valid is uh, was was true, and uh, which uh, made it assume that the channels in the graph were valid. So it wouldn't check for um, uh, the capacity of the channel uh, whether that's uh, valid in the graph. And that's fine for a neutrino nodes, but if you want to do analysis uh, of the graph with your node, you do need to know what the channel capacities are. So mm. that's why I had to start yeah, over. And, uh, Jesse, if if a node operator has an outgoing channel with a with a big node and uh, a lot of routing activity, what's the best way to keep that channel balanced? Uh, the constant needing uh, for rebalancing can make the channel less efficient due to fees involved. Uh, what what can they do? Um, yeah, so you got inbound uh, a lot of inbound traffic or a lot of outbound traffic, and uh, they're both yeah. uh, different. Outbound traffic is easier because you can just set a higher fee, uh, basically. Um, yeah. But one thing to always think about is that uh, traffic never goes on over one channel, right? It comes yeah, in exactly. Yeah. After one channel and it goes out over another channel. Um, so you always have to see it as a pair. Uh, so if you get a lot of traffic out towards a big uh, routing node, you can do a couple of things. Set a higher fee uh, and keep opening new channels uh, to this uh, node, for example. Uh, and that way um, you're basically selling your inbound liquidity. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one way to do it. And the other way to do it is uh, just set your fees higher so that if you rebalance, you can do it for cheaper. Um, and I'm looking for myself right now for some better pathfinding algorithms. That's why I'm mm -hmm. doing some graph theory as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, to try to find the really cheap routes. Um, for the rebalancing. Do you use uh, Balance of Satoshis now for it? Uh, yeah. Or? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. your main tool. Balance of Satoshis is my main tool, yeah. I write okay. some software myself, so I'm, look, I'm building a little software suite uh, for myself. Uh, but Balance of Satoshis is a great tool. It's very uh, diverse. It's got everything, basically. Mm -hmm. And the rebalancer is, uh, yeah, is doing a great job. Cool. And there's a lot of discussion about the ranking of Lightning nodes. Do you think it's important for any routing node that really wants to grow? And, and why is that? Yeah, I, I do I do think it's important. Um, I do think it's important to make your own ranks, actually. Um, mm -hmm. Because all the rankings will probably not include liquidity. Um, and with your own nodes, uh, sending a lot of payments around, you actually learn a lot about where liquidity is. Um, and you, yeah, I think as a good routing node, you should know where the liquidity is and uh, you should basically make your own ranking mm -hmm. uh, nice. based on your own information. Uh, yeah. And do you think it's a good or bad uh, thing that some uh, Lightning Node software distributions make it very easy for people to start running a Lightning Node without uh, technical knowledge? It's good, I think. Uh, yeah, it's good, but uh, <laughs> but it's nice also uh, a little bit scary because um, your data is your money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think as a non-technical user, um, yeah, you're used to your stuff being in the cloud uh, and just working, and yeah, losing your data is losing your money, and that's uh, yeah. The, yeah, should be uh, careful about that. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Tilknut. Well.
Well, we had a lot of more uh, um, questions to ask, but um, our time time is up. Um, uh, yeah, perhaps another sh uh, time, if you would like to come back to our show, then uh, we would uh, love to uh, ask you some more questions. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Yeah. So thanks for it. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thank <laughs> yeah, you, man. Thank you too. <laughs> we still have me. one uh, question left, actually. Uh, exactly. About, uh, the, the question from our previous guest, Thomas Jester from Ambos. Oh, yeah. And um, we have an, uh, an audio file, Edward will play it, and yep. then you may answer it, uh, yes sir. And there it comes. I'd like to know, what is the most important node on the network, if one exists? Ah, uh, that's a trick question from Thomas, <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did think about that a lot, and um, I do think there's not a most important node on the network right now. Uh, the network right now is like a can of worms. It's just uh, all the channels are packed together. It's it's uh, it's almost a distributed network, I think. Nice. So that's that's the goal. Uh, no single point of failure. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Decentralization. So great. Yeah. Spojte svět dohromady. And next time we have a new guest, uh, Carsten Otto. Uh, he's a node specialist from Germany and his writing notes has reached the top score, uh, ball score list. Uh, so if we talk about ball scores uh, or scores, um, uh, that is important. And we want him to ask him a question from you. Uh, no. Which question can we ask him? Uh, the Bitcoin base layer is very robust because of its decentralized nature. Uh, Lightning is young and being is being actively developed. What do you think could break Lightning? Uh, or what do you think could be a threat to Lightning? <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a realistic uh, question. I'm uh, yeah. interested I'm, I'm in not thinking answer. about it that much. No, no, <laughs> me, me neither. <laughs> I need to confess, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, well, we are like uh, in, in love with the network and it then we can't forget be broken. all the vulnerabilities. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> There's so many yeah. people working on it now, but, yeah. uh, but it's, uh, it's a nice question for him. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Uh, thank you. Connect the world. Jesse, thanks for being with us. Uh, thanks for all your uh, insights. And uh, yeah, great to have you uh, on, on our show. And. Uh, where uh, can listeners uh, find uh, if they have questions for you, a uh, personal question or something uh, on uh, Twitter, Telegram? Or, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks we, a lot we, for we having me. The uh, um, they can find me on uh, Twitter. I'm uh, at bitdeyesse. I think yeah. you'll put it in the, in the show notes. Yeah, yes, exactly. right. And uh, yeah. also on Telegram, I'm called Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm Platnet and uh, Lightning NL, uh, Rings of Fire community yeah. also in some other and in, in basically most lightning <laughs> there are basically lot of every, every community out there yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks again mate and uh yeah i hope to see you uh in a couple of weeks at, uh, at the uh, bitcoin show meetup and we will uh, exactly drink a beer we'll see you there yeah okay thanks all right love thanks. to see you okay and thanks for listening and thanks to all members participating in Satoshi Radio Rings of Fire. And of course, thanks to everyone helping to connect the world with us. Um, if you want to support us in our mission, then you can donate using the bot <coughs> in our Telegram group. And don't forget to like and share our content on your favorite platform like uh, to Podcasting 2.0. Uh, keep those notes running, guys and girls, and sets flowing and rings burning. And see you all next week with Carsten Otto on this same Lightning channel. Hasta la próxima, yeah? Sai, ciao. Make a doing.